Frugal Crafter with a quick tip to thicken up thin, cheap gesso. I know we've all been there. We've gone with the economy brand uh, because we want to save a little money or we're just beginning or we just don't have it in our budget to buy. Um, to buy artist grade and i bought this big gallon of gesso by pro art probably 15 years ago i don't know it was a long time ago um i got a price tag on it it was 22.95 but it was at on sale at martin's for 13.79 and i actually use this as is for a long time to prime raw canvases and it worked just fine for that but now i want thicker gesso that i can use for like stenciling and mixed media techniques and really getting cool textures on stuff and this just wouldn't do it so what i did was um i let this sit for for probably about three months and then I took a little Dixie cup and there was like this layers just like inches of watery stuff on top and I took a little Dixie cup and I scooped out all the water and I put it in here just in case I needed to add it in later in case I made a mistake and it didn't work um, and I, I felt this material with my fingers and it was very watery it wasn't sticky it didn't feel like it was paint or binder so um, I was pretty sure that all the good stuff was just here on the bottom I stirred it up and I was gorgeous thick white gesso. It's still not as thick as what I would like to buy now, and I did just buy some gesso at Jerry's. It's thicker, but I, I wanted to rescue this if I could, and then I did swatch it out, and on a board I used a stencil, and I've got a really nice thick relief here with that gesso, and then I just kind of scraped some on a panel, and I got a really nice Venetian plaster stecco type, um, type effect here. So if you bought some cheap gesso in the past and it's too thin for your needs now, um, just let it sit someplace undisturbed for a few months, scoop off the water on top, feel it, make sure it's not too, it's not sticky, make sure it's, it feels watery. And um, that means all your good stuff is still in the pot, stir it up and you are good to go. And in the future, it's probably best to buy a thicker gesso because you can thin it down if you're priming raw canvas or you can leave it thick for mixed media techniques. And probably in the long run, it saves you some money because you're not paying for all that water. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these uh, quick tips, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and share it with any of your friends that might find it enjoyable or useful. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.